You're watching LMCC, your community TV. Chris Vogt and welcome to Lakeside News Weekly, your guide to news and events going on in the Lake Minnetonka area. On today's show, we'll head to Spring Park City Hall to interview City Administrator Dan Tolzma in another edition of LMCC's Meet Your City Employee. I'm kind of just the general manager for the city. What that involves is a lot of policy development and implementation fiscal management responsibilities, and um, also getting a lot into uh, project management. Tyler was my first job as a standalone city administrator, and that was you know, my first chance to really get exposed to a lot of the challenges that you'll face as a city administrator and kind of work through them. You know, it's, it's always a process, and you can never take into account the human factor enough, and that was really a, a good chance for me to kind of see that side of city government. I was warned early on that Lake Minnetonka is an interesting area. You know, the people in the Spring Park are great. You know, it's, it's been a great place to work. We get to help a lot of our residents out. At the end of the day, that's what we're here to do. And uh, I think our council does a good job of that too. Essentially all they're requiring of cities is that they have a policy in place. We kind of take pride in being very accessible to our residents. You know, we always have an open door policy and and a lot of times I kind of a conduit between the residents and the council and it seems to work out well in Spring Park and most of the residents here know that anytime they have a question or, or concern or comment they can always come to me or one of the other staff members. Working with the council here has, has been great. They really take pride in their job and they, you know, they want to make the best decisions possible. They always look at it from as many different angles as they can. And at the end of the day, you know, I, I think they, they do make the best decisions. All those in favor say aye. 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 One thing that we, we just kind of rolled out was uh, a new website, and we've been working on that for, you know, the past year. It turned out very well. We're also looking at a, a couple of projects right now. One is a lift station, and uh, one is um, some drainage improvements. In Spring Park, we have numerous offerings. We've got Presbyterian Homes, they do a great job with seniors and giving them recreation opportunities. We've got Lord Fletcher's restaurant, of course. And also we, we have the LMCC here in town. They serve such a, a wide area and it's kind of a nice feather in our cap to say they're here in Spring Park. We've got the parks, Thor Thompson, and uh, we've done some really great improvements there recently. And we've got the trail for residents to use and then uh, of course the lake. So I think we've got a little bit of something for everybody. It's been a great opportunity for me and I'm always more than happy to meet with our residents or our business owners. It's an opportunity that they have that uh, they probably wouldn't have in, in a larger city. So I think they should also take advantage of that and get to know um, their city staff. Coming up on Precious Pets. <laughs> hey, aren't they cute? Uh-oh, everyone's favorite pooch. Corporal Cuddles isn't wagging his tail on tonight's episode. We interrupt this program to bring you this important message. The Lake Minnetonka Communications Commission, located in Spring Park, Minnesota, offers free television production classes. You heard it right, free, free, free. 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 All you need to do is sign up and show up to receive your special TV training. That's right, folks, that's, that's it. it. Wow, that sure looks easy. Our friendly and knowledgeable staff will help bring your idea to the big screen. Well, that is if you have a big screen. Why, thank you. We are very friendly and knowledgeable. You'll learn the secrets of how a television studio works. If you can't see video, try taking off the lens cap. Wow! Thanks, LMCC. From studio lighting and non-linear editing to on-location shooting, we'll guide you down the path you need to succeed. Just call us at 952-471-7125 or go to our website at www.lmcc-tv.org to get started today. Hurry in folks, an opportunity this good won't last forever. We now return you to your regularly scheduled programming.
Now it's time to preview some upcoming events going on in our LMCC member cities. Here's the Lakeside Community Calendar. The Lake Minnetonka Conservation District has issued a high water declaration for Lake Minnetonka. Because of this declaration, it is unlawful for a person to operate a watercraft in regulated areas of Lake Minnetonka at a speed of more than five miles per hour or a speed that results in more than a minimum wake. For additional information, please contact LMCD Executive Director Greg Nybeck at 952-745-0789 or via email. Long Lake's fourth annual community celebration, Summerfest, will be held June 12th through June 14th. Activities include a Twilight 5K, teen activities, live music, and much more. For more information, go to the Long Lake Area Chamber of Commerce website at www.longlakeareachamber.com. The City of Shorewood invites people of all ages to head to Badger Park on June 13th. Enjoy music, purchase pulled pork sandwiches from the Legion, or bring a picnic. Bring lawn chairs and blankets and get ready for a night of great music with the Shallow Lee Band. For more information, go to the City of Shorewood website. Do you know of an upcoming event going on in the Lake Area? Email us at lmcc at lmcc-tv.org. Here's what's coming up on First Responder TV. Kevin Suprell, emergency physician and EMS medical director, will teach us how to perform compression-only CPR. We'll give you an update on scams that have been targeting citizens in the Lake Area. We'll introduce you to Chris Pounder, the 2013 Mound Firefighter of the Year the LMCC safety expert gives us some important severe weather tips on Safety Source. First Responder TV airs daily on LMCC's Channel 12. Well, there you have it, news and events happening around the Lake Minnetonka area. For more information about LMCC or to learn more about our programming, go to our website at lmcc-tv.org. Thanks for watching this edition of Lakeside News Weekly.